As we take a further look at the events of Hope and Glory, we see why the Tag Team Title Tournament now finds itself in a very difficult position. We watch one man's dreams of winning the FWA Flyweight Title Round Robin Tournament end in tears. And we take another look back at the FWA's archive, courtesy of online channel Adrenalize. All that and more on this week's Frontline. WA is Europe's most exciting wrestling promotion. Be part of the British wrestling revolution by going to www.fwauk.com. I'm Len Davis and welcome to Frontline. In last week's show we looked at the major developments between the agenda and the resistance in the closing moments of FWA's hope and glory. Think about it boys. You've all got dreams. I can turn your dreams into nightmares just like that. Agenda, gentlemen, goes a lot higher than you will ever realize. What is that, a veiled threat from McDonald's that if anyone hits him, they'll never get a career in the US? That's what he's saying, isn't it? It obviously wasn't very veiled, because even you worked it out. Hey, look who's back on the stage as well, by the way. Martin Stone back there with his crutch. Hang on. Hang on. Alex, Alex Shane is back. Alex Shane is... And look who's with him. Look who's with him. Now I see it all now. Now I see it all. Drew McDonald, you. You of all people. Mixing with this. Mixing with Martin Stone. I want to be WWE. No, Mark, I will tell you this right now. 13th of November. 13th of November at European Uprising. I'll tell you, 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 and now you. Resistance is not futile. Resistance, my little wannabe friends, resistance is the future. Robbie Brookside did show up, and look who was with him, Flash Barker, another former FWA British heavyweight champion. However, before we can discuss the implications of these developments, the agenda's presence is also now being felt in the FWA's tag team title tournament. As you may recall, the first round match between the cartel and their heated rivals Joel Redman and Yestin Reese was taken out of the lineup at the Art of War due to their involvement in the main event that evening.
This left the leaders of the new school to advance in their match with Project Ego. Into a runner. Travis is trying to roll Skull up. He's got him. But... Oh, wait, Skull. Skull's got the, Skull's got the, the trunks. Skull oh. has the trunks of Travis. Northern exposure to advance over Retro Pop. And Styx and Malin to defeat the Daredevil Dragons. Malin, Malin has flying Ryan. He's trying to fight out and he does. Overhead kick there from... Flying Ryan, though. They were going for that critical condition, gonna drop Ryan on his head. Oh, they caught him. They the caught power. him again. The was... power was too much for him. Look at, the, look, look at the smirk on Styx's face, and Malin is taunting Ryan like a, a caged animal here before they put him down. Critical condition. Well, good night, Flying Ryan. Ryan is out. It's a cover and Sticks and Malin advance to the semi-finals of the FWA Tag Team Title Tournament. A match which led to the horrendous assault on Shane Spiral after the bell, resulting in him requiring ankle surgery. As a result, Sticks and Malin were banned from all but tournament matches in an attempt to avoid the problems caused by Bubblegum's forced withdrawal from the flyweight tournament. However, the FWA's decision not to punish Styx and Malin more seriously may have been for nothing, as it appears fate has played a hand and thrown the first round of the tournament into disarray regardless. Last week we showed the gripping war of words between FWA head of content and multiple British champion Alex Shane and the FWA's world heavyweight champion and leader of the agenda, Martin Stone. Things looked like they were about to take an ugly turn until a chain of events took place which not only sped the tag team title tournament up, but were clearly the catalyst for its current predicament. This country right now, and I believe that just as you stood on that turnbuckle and raised your arm to the audience, you're going to do that in America, and you're going to do it in front of tens of thousands of people. And you will have the camera flashes going off, and you will have a load of people that don't know you, like you. The difference is they like you because they don't know you. The people who like me like me because they do know me. And all the money in the world can't buy that! So, I've told you how your immediate future is going to be, but let me tell you how the not so distant future is going to be. You see, when those bulbs break and when that money dries up, the industry leader, the one here you're going to work for, has proven but once you're done with them, it all ends the same way. You won't have the cheers. You won't have the money. You won't have the best of DVD. All you'll have are your memories in a trailer and you'll be alone. 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 Because these lot believe in the revolution, Martin. And son, it seems like you are alone. So if I'm the magician, you're an arrow in China and what he wants you to say. Think about that. Alex, what you have to realise is that I ain't alone. Well that's M Morales and Reese and Redmond the Agenda are out here. Oh, Shane's out here on his own. Well Stone, the World Heavyweight Champion may be on crutches, but these three certainly are. And they are surrounding British wrestling legend Alex Shane. This is a slightly worrying situation this day. Stone is...
you know, I'm not psychic, but I think I can speak for everyone in this building when I say, I accept. Referee, let's start the match right now. You can catch the next part of this edition of Frontline on the FWA's YouTube channel now. This is the resistance, and we need your help.